the future at Michigan Central Station and continue our commitment to doing the hard work that will always set this place apart. So if it's strength, forward progress, and momentum you're looking for this Sunday, you don't have to look all that far to find it. It's right here at home, and it's being built forward proud. Get into zone, auto zone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, uh, thinking about gas mileage. You know, changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advanced can help your engine get more miles. Right now, you can get five quarts with an STP Extended Life oil filter for only $38.99. Go farther with better fuel efficiency. Get the parts you need when you need them at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. It just sucks during rush hour. What is the most random thing you are afraid of? I am terrified of nice. getting a cut hmm? on my so I think I was That is pretty accident. random. I'm Larry Mullins, the host of a new podcast, Your Weirdest Fears, where we dig into the weird, the wacky, the things that keep you up at night, and learn how to survive them. Listen and subscribe on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Bones and Krillin are back. The progressive Detroit Bones show starts January 14th. Bones for Crazy. Mission. Water sports. January 14th through the 22nd. Bunnings and Blades. DetroitBoneShow.net. It's time to Closed Tuesday and Wednesday. Parents, do you want to save your child's life? Perfect. Well, the Ticket Student Heart Check can help. Make the time to have your child checked. Contact the Max and Deborah Ernst Heart Center at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. Learn more at 971theticket.com. Sponsored by Priority Health and Total Health Care Foundation. The latest on the NBA, the NHL, the NFL, and the MLB on the Boston Balls Podcast with Pat Caputo. Get it on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Stick. Live from the Jamie Samuelson studio, here's Tony and Jansen. We got some tickets, action, more phone calls, movie loose ends. Uh, Greg was listening to the Ace Ventura, a podcast about the Ace Ventura, and wanted to know if, you know, who won the Super Bowl when Dan Marino came back for the second half. Um, now, yeah, we, I didn't mention this. I thought about it, but it's not a, it's a television series, not a movie. But I had a few ticket texts. You know, The Sopranos. Did Tony get whacked? All that stuff. Yeah. Like Fade the black. That's a great mystery. Stoney the wrestler dies. I just thought it ended with like a freeze frame, didn't it? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, know, you, don't, you, don't, you assume that's what happened. Yes. Um, my movie loose end would be: Did the members of the Breakfast Club actually remain friends after detention? Interesting. Sure. Yeah. Uh, if sh uh, what's in the package Tom Hanks delivers at the end of Cast? Well, he he went back to try to get his life back together, but she had, um, remarried, right? Ellen Hunt was not his wife. Yes, but the final scene is that right. he drops off that package to that woman with it, it's the package with the that angel wings on it. Right. That she got on the island with that same logo on it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um. What's in the Pulp Fiction briefcase? Somebody mentioned. Somebody says the soul theory in Pulp Fiction is by far the most accepted and widely known theory. It's his soul, 100 percent. All right, Gov, here you go. This is for your movie. Uh -oh. I always wondered what Teddy KGB's hand was at the end of Rounders. He went all in and lost. They didn't show it. I mean, I would have to go back and watch it. Now. <laughs> I don't. I kind of. That's a great one if they did. Right. I thought they showed. Mm. Maybe they did. What did Captain America do when he went back in time to return all the rings? Well, he lived the life that he always wanted and deserved. And that's what I think that Marvel, though, th that series of Marvel movies does so well is that they give their characters justice. And they did justice for Captain America by giving him the life that he wanted. Uh, I never saw this movie, but maybe you guys did. <laughs> what, whatever happened to Jamie Lee Curtis's son from Halloween 2? Halloween 20, it says H20. There's so many of those now. I know. I'm lost. I know. Me too. Uh, let's go to Ron and Taylor. You're 97 on the ticket. Man, how are you? Good. Good, Ron. How are you? Oh, hi, Heather. Heather. Hello, Heather. Good. My loose Thank end you. since 1982, Good Lord, is the Chuck Norris movie, um, Silent Rage, at the very end, the scene where it kicks that guy down into the well. And he's, you're sitting there like it's over, and then all of a sudden he comes splashing up out of the water. 
Immediately I thought there is going to be a sequel, and there never was. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen that. That's it. Now you, you're you talking about that movie. Yes, uh, that. Gee, there's a surprise. <laughs> Chuck Norris, <laughs> Westerns. Yes, that's good. Yeah, now you're talking about, uh, you know, getting it to where. I, I, I mean, I could go down that rabbit hole, but nobody would have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Brian in Harrison Township. Yeah, so besides wondering if Sloth went to live with Chunk and his parents, if he would adjust <laughs> to normal society in the real world, um, my actual one I have for you, are you guys familiar with American History X? I never saw it, but I know of the movie. Go ahead. Okay, so Edward Norton and his brother, they're raised by a racist father, and the upbringing is so bad that Edward Norton kills a black man and goes to jail. In the whole middle of the movie, Norton is rehabilitated, gets out of prison, changes his life, appears to be totally not racist anymore so at the very end of the movie um his little brother is shot and killed in school by a black kid and edward norton finds him and it's just a disaster it's the saddest ending and so then it ends and you don't know if derek goes back to being a racist or he continues to adjust and is still uh normal and uh, adjusted to society and being just a nice not person. a racist yeah. That, yeah. that, that's, have you seen it no that movie jars you i'm sure yeah it's i would i recommend you seeing it let's go to uh john on your 97 one ticket ah uh, yes my two were back to back with the same actor and that would be shutter island and infection i don't know if both either of you guys have seen that but the, the spinning top at the end or the dialogue of shutter island gets me <coughs> i've heard of it. <coughs> Um, you don't like Leonardo DiCaprio, no. so you wouldn't watch either. Somebody called in about Inception, right? With the same thing, the same yes. top. And then I've seen Shutter Island, but I honestly don't even remember. I can't even remember it. What it was about? It's got Leo in it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Hey, John. Yeah, Leo's in both of them. John, you have yeah. another one up on the screen. Why don't you say that one? Because I think that's pretty. Oh, uh, sure. I want to know if Rory McAvoy ends up becoming a prominent figure on the. PGA and Tin Cup after he took a 12 on the U.S. Open. Oh, Kevin Costner. I yeah. Agree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was a real, that's an underrated movie. I guess it's a pretty good movie. Tin Cup? Yeah. 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 Enjoyed that one. Oh, you, you actually, you, I, I watched, you, you I watched, watched that, that one. one? Yes, yes. That What's your favorite football, football movie? movie but... My favorite football movie. Um, oh, shoot. Um. I'd have to go back to, um, uh, what's the one with, um, uh, the, the, God, yes. Oh, uh, Remember the Titans? No, 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 it's the one with, uh, it's the original yeah. one. The Longest um, Yard. Longest that's Yard, mine. yes. That's yes. mine. Yeah, the original one. Mean yeah. Machine. Yes, I enjoyed the remake. I know a lot of people were critical. The remake was fine. 